without hesitation, you need to be going to Desmos here to solve this thing. Now, I, this is a clear case in my mind where Desmos, the built-in calculator for the PSAT and SAT, is much better than the handheld calculators that I, at least I use in school. The uh, Certainly better than this. This is just a regular scientific calculator, but also better than some of the graphing calculators that a lot of you are using. Now, the reason is most of those graphing calculators require you to put things in Y equals format, function notation basically. The Y has to be on its own and that's the only way it works. But Desmos is much more flexible. We can type it in just as written. So X squared plus Y plus 10 uh, is equal to 10. Oop, let's back that up, equal to 10. And we get a parabola there, no surprise. And then the other one, that's 8X uh, plus 16 minus Y is equal to zero. And we get a line and we're looking for the solution, which is means we're looking for the intersection point. So I'm just gonna scroll and you can see there's like lots of, it's like really close, but if you kind of tap it, Desmos is also very smart about just like showing you the point. It's a tappable gray uh, circle. And then when you tap it, you get the actual point. So it's negative four, negative 16. They want the value of X. So negative four is the answer. No work to be done here other than typing it in. But I would say, you know, Make sure as you're typing it in, you're typing it right. It's very easy to mistype or the button doesn't register. So just be careful and, and double check because you don't want to get it wrong for that kind of a stupid reason. But you really don't want to get it wrong either for doing a bunch of algebra and then making an algebra mistake. So in school, your teacher is going to make you do this algebraically. So if you've learned this habit over many, many years of like, okay, whenever I see a system of equations, I get them equal to, to Y and then I substitute in Y in one equation from the other equation. And so you're, you have a process down that is so um, ingrained in you that you don't even think about it. You just do it automatically. But for the SAT and PSAT, you have to have a different approach. You have to recognize that there are more efficient ways and you don't get extra credit for doing it the way your teacher would want you to do it. You only get the points if you get the question right. And we want to get it right as efficiently as possible. There is no doubt in my mind that this is a question for the Desmos calculator. There's, there's no reason to algebra here. It is just a waste of your time and effort.